We human beings are amazing. We created robots, and robots will be our future. We created 3D laser printing, also our future. And just when I'm going to be too old to drive a car, I will have a driverless car take me wherever I wish to go. Sometimes it's easier to understand how we create robots and driverless cars than it is to understand how we create our reality. In fact, many people have this notion that someone else is creating our reality. Who might that be? Now is probably a very good time to understand that you create your reality. Yes, you are creating what is unfolding in every moment of your life by the choices you are making day after day after day. And each of us is 100% responsible for those choices. We are not victims, and there's no one to blame. Every relationship, event, and drama in our life is reflecting back to us an image of who we are being in every moment. But don't believe me. Stop and observe your life without judgment. What do you see? Are you feeling confident? Satisfied? Appreciative? Are you feeling angry? Disappointed? Frustrated? Seeking always to understand, why is this happening to me? Maybe you are still not making the connection between your behavior and what you are creating. We are amazingly powerful beings. We are called human beings because most of what makes us human and not robots is who we are being. And who we are being is created by our emotions. And more importantly, who we are being is unfolding every moment into the next moment. Many great minds have understood this. Winston Churchill said, you create your universe as you go along. Albert Einstein said, everything is energy, and that's all that is to it. Match the frequency of the reality you want, and you cannot help but get that reality. It can be no other way. This is not philosophy. This is physics. What we feel creates our experiences, and our experiences create more of the same. We are attracting to us what we believe is true. It's a frequency, a vibration, an energy, and this energy is attracting to us, like a magnet, all things physical. Basically, if you want something, focus your energy on what it would feel like to have it. And if you don't want something, don't think about it. And if you can't control it, don't worry about it. But we human beings are very funny. We do the exact opposite. We focus on the existing condition, and we think about how difficult it is for us to get beyond this, and this will never happen for me. Our aim is to live an unconditional life. That means we do not permit 
the existing conditions, the what is now to define our emotions or ultimately the outcome. So it's really pretty simple. If you want to go in this direction, don't be looking behind you and complaining about what you see. When you're driving a car, are you looking behind you? Of course not. You're focusing on your journey. You have an eye towards your destination. And hopefully, you're enjoying the ride. Now, this process applies to everything and anything. Any project, any physical condition, any financial situation, or any relationship. So let's take a look at something tangible, a project that is close to my heart. This was the existing condition in London at 30 St. Mary Axe in 1990s, after it had been bombed by the IRA and the debris had been cleaned from the site. We were not focusing on this existing condition. We had a dream. We had a vision for an environmentally progressive building, a building of outstanding architectural merit. Everyone said it couldn't be done. Everyone said it couldn't be done on this site. But we were holding a space for what has fondly become known as the Gherkin. We received the first planning permission in over 30 years for a tall building in the city of London. It won the Sterling Prize for Architecture, and we changed the city of London's planning policies towards tall buildings. We were not focusing on the existing condition. We were in the present moment, managing the project, putting one foot in front of the other, holding a space for the vision that we know it could be. When we demonstrate a willingness to see beyond the illusion of the existing condition, beyond the temporariness of the existing condition, we are actually holding a space for the possibility of something different. We are beginning to shift our energy to match the frequency of our desire. Now, many people still stubbornly do not believe that we create our reality. Whether it is a massive urban redevelopment project, a robot, or a relationship, we have a huge role in making the choices that create our lives, our projects, our careers, and our world. But first, you must believe that you create your reality. Second, you must be willing to focus your energy on what you believe, on what you desire, and not the lack of it. Right now, we have the power to see ourselves very differently. We are very pot potentially powerful beings because we create our world by our choices. It's the only thing we actually control. Be more conscious more often about the power of your choices. Be more disciplined about where you focus your energy. Listen to yourself and replace powerless phrases with, things are always working out for me, and this will too. The money always comes. 
Things are getting easier and easier all the time. Everything is unfolding perfectly the way it needs to. It is time. It is time for us human beings to step fully into our power and show those robots just who we are capable of being. Thank you. <laughs>